as I explore around, wandering through this place. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you some very cute and aesthetic DIY embroideries to help up your clothing game. So let's get started. Today's video is a collaboration with Jacqueline who has also done some very cute clothing embroideries on her channel It's Jackie. So definitely go and check out her video, leave some nice comments and also subscribe to her. I have left a link to her channel and her video in the description box down below. So first I'm going to be showing you guys my lavender flower embroidery. So to start, I first flipped my shirt inside out and then flattened a piece of stabilizer on top of it. The stabilizer helps to ensure that all of your stitches later on don't bunch up like a can of sardines. Then I'm attaching my embroidery hoop on and making sure that the center of it is where I want my pattern to be. Then I'm using a pencil to outline the stalks of my lavenders. Because I'm a perfectionist, I'm also going to use a ruler to make 5mm increments to mark where my stitches will go to ensure that I have even stitches later on. Finally, I drew on all of my lavender petals. For the stalk, I first split green thread into two so that we actually get a thin stalk instead of a tree trunk, then I thread it through a needle. For the lavender stalk, I'm going to use a back stitch, which is basically you skip a stitch line, then bring your needle through the back of the fabric, then stitch backwards instead of forwards. Make sure that when you're stitching backwards, you place the needle head at the very beginning of the previous stitch to create a continuous line with no breaks. The markings that I made from before just make it so much easier to see where your stitches are and also get an even stitch length. For my lavender petals, I'm going to use a lavender colour thread, like obviously what other colour am I going to use, and make simple stitches following my pencil drawings. Here you can see that I actually skipped every second stitch as I'm going to use a dark purple thread instead to give my flowers more dimension. And voila! Here it is, a glorious video of me stitching other petals on with a dark purple thread. Here is how the final pattern turned out on my plain white t-shirt. I really love how cute and clean it is and it was so simple to make as well. The second embroidery pattern I'm going to do is the infamous TikTok Nike flower embroidery. So first I printed out Nike symbols of different sizes and chose the one that fit my shirt the best. Then cut out the actual Nike sign with a smaller pair of scissors. So here I'm placing the logo on top of my fabric and then tracing it out with a pencil. So my logo was a little bit bigger on the fabric than my embroidery hoop. So I just made a rough outline and then freehanded the rest of the logo so it would fit. As usual, I'm using my ruler to mark out 5mm increments for my stitches. To outline the Nike logo, I'm using a thin black thread and then making simple stitches but skipping every second stitch. So I just feel like this makes the logo a lot cooler and edgier than if I just outlined the whole thing. I then drew on my flower designs and the first thing I'm going to do is make a rose. So taking my red thread, I'm just going to follow my asterisk shaped drawing in simple stitches from the center outwards to kind of create a six petaled flower. Then I'm going to take my thread and push it underneath every second stitch so that the thread goes under and then over alternating stitches. Repeat this process and you will soon find yourself with a cute little rose.
Then I'm going to make a flower in the corner of my Nike symbol. Taking a pink thread, I begin to stitch from under the shirt at the center of the flower. The next stitch goes back into the center of the flower, but make sure not to pull the entire stitch through and leave a little loop. What you want to do now is to bring your thread from underneath the shirt to the end of your petal, then pull your thread all the way through. Then make a tiny stitch on the top to secure the little petal you just created. So I just repeated this process four times to create my half little flower. And here you can see I created another purple flower using the exact same technique and also sewed on a lavender at the corner of my Nike logo using the same technique that I showed you at the start of this video. So right now I'm just going to make another rose using blue thread because violets are red and roses are blue. So to finish up this look, I'm going to make a few French knots to fill in any empty spaces. To make a French knot, you basically poke the needle through the shirt, then wrap the thread around your needle about two or three times before pushing your needle back into the hole and pulling the thread all the way through. So this will create a cute little knot, hence the name French knot. So this is the final look. Honestly, it wasn't that hard to create and I think it looks very cute and aesthetic. So that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and also come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of things that you don't get to see on YouTube. I love you guys. Bye!